Supervine is a patented stringing system for growing kiwi fruit. Developed in 2004 by engineer Andrew McIsaac, in the heart of the kiwi fruit industry, New Zealand's Bay of Plenty. Supervine is a simple, effective stringing system that allows new season's replacement canes to be grown into the sunlight above the existing canopy. Supervine uses a top wire which runs along the length of the male rose, with strings tied permanently at the top wire to the female rose. New canes grow up the strings and are then lowered after the existing fruiting canopy has been picked and pruned. Long-lasting reusable twine makes removing the canes much easier. After pruning, these are retied to the females ready for the new season's growth. This twine has been on orchards for six years with no sign of wear. One top producing orchard has been using Supervine ever since it came on the market. Orchard manager Trevor Douglas. It's been one of my best practices that I put in. Uh, it's ease of management, uh, consistency in crop volumes. It hasn't gone down, always going up. When you can see upstairs, all my cane is separated from the fruiting canopy and it's in maximum light and I've already got my crop and anyone can prune it. That's the simplicity of the system. You don't need skilled staff. It's done early and it's up there, out of the way, out of every, every harm's way. The other benefits too is it becomes a living shelter belt instead of artificial. That's up there, it's doing everything and back it up with the fast track cloth underneath, reject percentages are down across the board. It's just a win-win situation. For us it is, and it's probably very ideal for very large areas with unskilled staff. The canopy in here now is at its maximum load. There's simply very little room for any more fruit. You just can't fit it in, and that's what we aim for. It's dollars. It's not cents anymore, it's dollars. The cents is up there by putting it up there. This is the dollars. The system here has been in on this area. It's going into its seventh year now and it's been win, win, win every step of the way. 0.2 of a hectare, when we started off it was doing 14 and it got to 15 to 30 and we thought that would be it. Last year we pulled 51 bins, I hope to get 60 bins this year. We're aiming around a 90 to 92 percent export pack out. Try arguing with that. Grow a cane any length you like. If you can't get it from one side of the vine, if one side of a vine is weaker, then bring it from the other side. And it just all comes together and Hence, a full canopy, without even really trying. Strings, the Italian silk string, it's no sign of deterioration yet. A few secateur blight, but that's always to be expected. But that's about it, you know. When they're picking the fruit, they're, they're travelling down a cane. Um, they're not, it's not tied up in a lot of um, secondary wood, and it would spur with um, fruit stalks hanging on them still. It's easy, it's clean to pick the croppers down here instead of intermixed with a lot of other old wood. And that's another big advantage. And it's very quick to pick. Guaranteed I'm going to have the same result year after year after year. Simple, it's very, very simple. Put strong cane on, on only, not weak. Primary cane, I don't use stub cane, just straight out primary. And there is a confusion of primary growing secondary wood up there. Some of it will, but 99% won't. Because one, I'm holding it back with volume. I'm still getting reasonable size for a very hard year this year, and big volumes. You can grow a cane any length you want. If I find, when I'm looking at my canopy in here, looking up there, and I'm finding that I've got a weak cane on one side, and I've got a very strong one on one side, I will release the string and bring it out one wire, and I'll keep doing that until the cane bellies down, and knowing full well that, that cane is going to travel, from, say, from a vine over there to over here to cover up a weak area. So the, you're only limited by your own imagination. It's as simple as that. Um, bear in mind that you're not going to get to every cane before it gets up there. But if you're going to look at trying to lengthen cane, target weak areas on one side. And so you can drag strong cane through or vice versa, which either side is weak and what's strong there. Yeah. One hectare on the high wire supervine system again. It was done last winter very quickly we had two people on it. It was right down hard on the top of the male vines, the top wire, stretched, tightened, and they completed it in five days at a cost of around about $1,200.
strung, ready to put the cane on when the cane grew. So that's quite cost effective as far as I'm concerned. When we came in to attach the cane, an elderly guy in his 60s did the bulk of the work attaching for the very first time he's done it. A particularly good job. He selected the right cane, the heavy wood that's required, and today's that's the proof. He's coming back to prune it. He's done most of the stringing in the orchard this year, and all the cane attaching. That is total control. But that way there is no control. It simply becomes too hard over a big area to try to control it all. Where the high wire supervines makes it that much simpler for me. I know what I would rather have, and it isn't that jungle, it's this one. I'd rather prune that. I know if we were to continue the way we were here trying to control very large areas without the super vine, it becomes almost mission impossible for a small team. The stress levels aren't there. Here I'd spend very, very limited time. And that's the big single advantage. Higher production, everything, and total control over it. One person can do an awful lot of work on this system by themselves. You know, if you can get two to three or even 4,000 trays extra a hectare, they're talking some serious money. Trevor Douglas, orchard manager, reports that it takes five minutes to prune a 25 square metre bay, and anyone can do it without any mistakes being made. One worker in his 60s can easily prune 80 bays in a day. We're looking at doing a total replacement cane um, canopy, as long as I have the wood that's up on the strings. Relatively straightforward, I'm making, going to make a cut in here, here, and here, and here, where I'll, the cane is already up there out of the way. You're trimming up most of the rubbish as you go along that you don't want anymore. It looks messy, but it's not. This is the first year that I'm using these electric pruners. They are considerably faster. They work well on this system. One of the main things when you're doing this is to concentrate where your cane is. And sort of once the leaf has finally come off, during the week sprayed with copper sulphate, make it a bit clearer and then it, the job really does speed up. Um, tried to do everything in one hit without having to come back. This is where the system really kicks in is where you're doing your major selection very early in the in the spring to get what you want and this is where you get quite fast pruning out of it. And this, this block has, has not had a summer prune or a very light summer prune. So you can basically judge it for yourself how clean it is. That's the pruning side of it. Trials have shown 
that it takes just 27 minutes to drop a 300 meter row with Supervine, as against 16 hours with the standard teepees. To show you how easy it is to get these strings out, and what I normally do is when I have a lot of stuff, if I, when I get the staff, I usually let the strings hang in here, and once the cane is all clipped and put into line, then they come back. But this time I'm sort of changing the idea a little bit and I'll bring it back over to here and just put a little slip knot in it, um, keep it slack so when the pole goes back up, you've got pretty near easy access. And what I said about the, just the cane is there, it's, you're not doing any more wrestling with it like I have to do in other places. You just go ahead and put the clips back on, the clips you've got here. Um, and any cane that's weak, shorten it up. Uh, you won't be leaving much of a hole if you're going to leave any at all, because um, you're going to be backing it up. But as you can see, those, they're relatively e very easy to get down. Um, and you can see the cane is now travelling to the other side. It will be even a lot longer when it's finally clipped, which won't be far away. These rows are three and a half metres long, wide I should say, by five metres. So um, you can basically see that the cane has already travelled well over the distance required. But, uh, better to have too much than not enough. Okay, we're ready to clip it down. That's basically the end result on these canes here. So, and um, the other ones, when I get to the other side, will come through. That one there will come back through into here. That may be a little bit close in here. But the thing is, it's not competing with this vine. It's, it's growing its fruit from that vine. Supervine works out at around 10 to 16,000 per canopy hectare to install, a one-off cost that can pay for itself within just two years. And it's not hard to see how. Supervine can mean gold production increased by up to 150% above the industry average, increased bud nodes on larger, healthier canes and more terminated wood. Green fruit yields up by up to 30% in the first year of fruiting canes, lower labour costs, reduced reject rates, lower pruning costs, and the virtual elimination of summer pruning. And it is sustainable due to no string wastage or dumping. Supervine has the potential to deliver improved taste, dry matter, and early start in some orchards. Supervine clients include plant and food research and top New Zealand growers. As more than one grower has observed, Supervine is our sustainable business practice and a winning investment. It's just a winner, all the way. For us, yes. Less staff than ever before. It's just the sheer simplicity of the job, where there's very little summer work. Most of the fruiting canopy, by being up there, is short terminated wood. So you're cutting costs big time. Um, and you, the least amount of secateur work in any canopy is a great thing. This year I don't have to touch it. Touch it periodically, but very little. And that's really about it. So the only way to have a look is to look at the fruit, then look what's upstairs to see what I've got to go with. When you go to lower it, there's none of this back-breaking work of trying to bend the canes around and finding the cater's been there, and the time you bend it, it's broken off. This doesn't happen. And anyone can do it. Prune it out, drop the poles, put the cane down, pull the strings out, put the clips back on. The bends are there early in the piece as you're attaching, and people are going away on the end of a day's tying down, they're still refreshed. No hassles. This is so easy management. It's a great system. Supervines is great, perfect. Um, 
I wouldn't want to grow my crop without it. Supervine. In the kiwi fruit industry, it simply is the smart choice. For further details, please contact Supervine at 64 7 6151 or visit www.supervine.co.nz.